guys. This is your favorite Big Level. We're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. This is Epilogue 2. Beacher's Hope. And... It seems that we can finally do some questing. You. You as an uncle. Rachel, come on, I'm not gonna walk all the way there. And I'm certainly not gonna wear this clothes. It seems uh, some time has passed. John's hair is a bit longer. Mm-hmm. That's his horse. I've got a campfire here. Hmm. Can't really use it now. Seems we have to go with the quest. Bare knuckle friendships. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You've got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Oh! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh no, what, what did I have to tell you? I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. As usual. Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. What? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. What? Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Whoa. We actually went there by train. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloon. You take the slums. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Hmm. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Which saloon are we supposed to visit? Huh. Okay. We might as well talk to the fans. What do you know? Rachel is here. I'm gonna start with the fans because, uh, well, uh, I think that Charles oh, is probably trying to keep a low profile, more or less. Certainly, he's better at it than Jan. So, talking to a fence should give us uh, better intel.
Oh, and I'm just making it up. I know that we're gonna get some info about him one way or another. Sign the knee market. Lovely morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, mister. Hello there. Good morning to you. Good morning, mister. Joe Sam. We haven't been here in a while. Probably since uh, we saved the people who are being held downstairs. can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. A boxer? Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. How the hell do we know he's a boxer, eh? Well, at least it seems that no shady businesses are going on here. Shit. Okay. I would head along that way. Boxing. There are a couple of things that don't add up during the playthrough. I, uh, I've got Arthur's saddle. We learned that Charles is boxing without knowing he's boxing from the cutscenes. I also can uh, use two pistols, although I'm Okay, the other holster is just not visible during the cutscenes. Still, from what I noticed, Come on, lady. besides having Arthur's uh, saddle, I also have his pistols. Morning, sir. Morning to you. And other weapons. And I also have a journal. I don't know where all that stuff came from. We took his bag, so that explains the journal. But the rest, the saddle, his weapons, bullshit. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. I just thought it's a random hobo, but it's ankle. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. <laughs> Folks still love a surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. What? I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? 
a little wager on the wolf, eh? Real redskin brave. Jerry, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendants. I assume that it's gonna be Charles's last fight, so no throwing this time. From the valleys, Simon of Wales, and on my right, an engine Hercules, the savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and there I say unbeatable, lone wolf. Shit, he's ripped. No forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout. You win by retirement. Or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean. But not so clean. Wah. Wah. Power. That's right. Ooh. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Wolf. How? Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> Goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns of rum. <laughs> You're useless. Hmm. I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Still wearing a sound off My on him. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Aww. I had to run. If any of us had Thanks, been around, Charles. We'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. It's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got him. I'm... Bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life is really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I hope so. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Hey, or... Since before I got off Sisica, they picked up Strauss, the agents. Oh. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Wait for that. I was about to say.
Hmm. Nosferatu. Creepy shit. Let me try again. None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. That's okay. for sure. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He... Uh... Used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey, nah. come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <clears throat> Yet. And who the hell are you? Might as well loot them. Plant. Okay. Usual. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get the shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I'll think it probably got bagged. I ever want to go back. Not that I'm gonna complain. San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. Oh, hmm. Carl! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, you weren't very good, Scott. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> let's head for home. Thank you for watching, thank you for your attention, see you later alligators, and bye, bye bye bye.